urge to breathe. With every breath, we are inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide. There is always a certain amount of carbon dioxide in the blood, which the body tries to keep stable by regulating the intensity and frequency of our breathing. When the level of carbon dioxide increases because we are using more oxygen, for example during exercise, we breathe more. This allows more carbon dioxide to be released and the blood to absorb more oxygen. But when we hold our breath, gas exchange grinds to a halt and the body cannot release the carbon dioxide in our blood. The oxygen levels in our blood starts falling and carbon dioxide levels start to rise above their normal level. This rise in carbon dioxide is detected by receptors in our brain, which in turn triggers our urge to breathe. One of the first places to feel those signals is the diaphragm, which starts to contract involuntarily in an attempt to inflate the lungs. When you get contractions, there is still oxygen available to use and you can keep holding your breath for some time. With training, you can increase your body's tolerance to carbon dioxide which will result in longer, safer breath hold times. In addition, relaxation of your mind and body during the breathe up and the breath hold will minimize carbon dioxide production, delaying the urge to breathe in a safe way. However, your urge to breathe should be used as an alarm and once you feel them, you should get ready to surface.